Welcome to the channel. Tis the season, ladies and gents. Uh, tis the season for my review of Fat Man. Now, I did uh, a trailer reaction to this, and you guys seem to love it. Honestly. Um, this post about sums it up. Walton Goggins, Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson is Santa Claus. He is the Fat Man. Uh, I had a really good time with this film. It is a good film. So, we'll touch on... We'll, we'll go non-spoilers first, right? We'll go non-spoilers first. Mel Gibson's an interesting character, isn't he? Like, he's an interesting character. He hasn't been in the limelight for some time. I'm sure a lot of people have been like, what's going on with him? Obviously, he kind of had his own mild controversies. Pretty major controversies. But it is good to see him back. And I tell you what, he can still act. Walton Goggins is a standout. Walton Goggins is absolutely fantastic in this movie. But he's fantastic in anything he's in. I remember first seeing him in Predators. And I was always... Like, it's a, he's a standout. He has such a a dry wit about him. And his line delivery is fantastic. He has such good comedic timing. And as well, he's often not really thought of as a, as a comedy actor. But in this, good God, could he... Well, did he pull it off, basically? So let's get into the nitty gritty of the story. Like the plot synopsis, uh, I guess you could say. Uh, as per what we're looking at, IMDB anyway, it says a rowdy, unorthodox Santa Claus is fighting to save his declining business. Meanwhile, Billy, a neglected and precocious 12-year-old, hires a hitman to kill Santa after receiving a lump of coal in his stocking. That's basically it. There are some kind of ins and outs of it um, in a non-spoiler way because it's not really a spoiler. Santa Claus has some very interesting sort of powers. He, he is Santa, right? It's framed as Fat Man, and I'm sure some people will probably be thinking, well, is he actually Santa, or what is it? No, he is actually Santa Claus, and he has elves, and, you know, he does have the sleigh, and he does actually have reindeer. He is Santa Claus. Um, and he has some interesting powers. He knows instantly who you are. Instantly, he just looks at you. He knows you, He knows who you are, he knows what you get up to, um, which feeds into the whole, you know, are you naughty or nice, which obviously he's got that thing in his hand, naughty or nice list, which doesn't actually play into it, but that's just a poster, is what it is. Now, I do feel, uh, unfortunately, like there was some stuff chopped out of this film. I, I feel like there was some things chopped out of it. Um, and it's it runs one hour, 40 minutes, but I think this originally had maybe another 20 minutes on it. I think so, anyway. Um, so, storyline is... We are introduced to Santa Claus. He has a declining business, which he is somehow in cahoots with the government in some way, shape, or form. They subsidy him. They give him money. Um, I presumably, from what I can tell via the uh, the film, anyways, that they give him money because he boosts the economy, which does make sense. And I liked that very just subtle commentary on. Um, Christmas being a like trillion dollar business in the U in in the the USA or worldwide something like that. Um, I liked that. I did like that. It was it was a good commentary. But basically, he's not getting his subsidies. He has to go into some cahoots with the government on something else, um, using his you know his workshops. Um, and obviously, he's going about his normal business whilst this is happening. And a disgruntled twelve year old who's a little shit. Uh, puts a hitman job on him, which is Walton Goggins. Walton Goggins plays a uh, a guy who only got one gift from Santa when he was a kid, and then the rest was abuse from his parents, and then that's what makes him want to go and hunt Santa Claus. Uh, that's the ins and outs of it. That's the ins and outs of it. Uh, but I do feel I do feel like something was chopped out of this film. Now, I, I'm not going to say that it's worse off for it, because I actually don't think that is the case. It has a pretty slow pace... Uh, for up until like the first, I don't know, first hour and maybe hour 15. It's a relatively slow pace. But I enjoy it because it trundles along quite nicely. It's not a slow pace where it's a drag. It's just a slow burn up until the kind of final crescendo. Um, but you get to experience Walton Goggins a lot more. And I think they really play to their strengths here. They give Walton Goggins a lot more screen time than they do uh, Mel Gibson. It feels like it anyway. Um, and and he's funny. He's very, very funny. He's he's a, he's a great actor. Um, and like I said already, his comedic timing is spot on. So I enjoyed this a lot. The effects are actually like a lot, well, a lot more decent than I thought they would be. 
Um, there is a lot of practical blood effects. Obviously, they've got guns, so what do you expect? There's practical blood effects. Um, and they're a lot better than I thought they would be. Like, genuinely, pretty damn decent. Uh, and there's some explosions and stuff like that, and it all works really, really nicely. The acting is pretty great from everyone. I mean, it's not... There's nothing which I looked at and went, oh, that's offensive, that's terrible. Uh, everything was, like, good or above. Mel Gibson is a good actor. Walton Goggins is fantastic. Everyone was good in it. Uh, the expansion to the mythos of Santa Claus, if you can call it that, was hilarious. Uh, we'll touch on that in spoilers. Uh, and all in all, it was worth watching. It's an hour and 40 minutes. I think some people may feel like it drags, but I didn't. It's slow, but I didn't feel like it dragged. I feel like it trundled along at a relatively nice pace, built towards this inevitable end, conclusion, uh, and then we... Yeah, it was good. No subversion of expectations. Everything just went nicely. Uh, this is a film that knows what it is, is not trying to be anything else, and achieves it, and then some. Like, it's it's a very good movie. So I can highly recommend this film, actually. It was hard to get a hold of, uh, being in the UK. It's not easy to get a hold of in the UK. It's not out yet. Like, I had to go through VPNs and all that kind of crap to get a hold of this. Uh, but you can watch it in the States. I believe it's out in the States already. So go check it out if you can. Uh, it's well worth renting as well, actually. Out of all of the kind of Christmas movies, I think I would probably revisit this one next year. I, like, actually wanna, would want to watch it again. Uh, it's good. Now, that's it. Non-spoilers. Recommend. Music was actually surprisingly good. Cinematography was surprisingly good. It all looked fine. Uh, the type of lenses that they were using... Um, good focal range like it was all it was all there uh, there was nothing stand out and stellar but there was also nothing offensive either it was all really really decent so recommend now spoiler warning here's your spoiler warning um so santa claus is basically immortal in this but he is and he isn't it's very very interesting so i i just want to talk about the expansions to the santa claus mythos so elves are real and they eat, uh, what was it? They eat sugar, sugary, uh, sim simple carbs. Was it like six times a day or something like that? And they sleep for 20 minutes. And they can work uh, like 24 hours a day doing all of that. Hilarious. It's really, really good. Uh, it was very, very funny. Um, Mel Gibson, Santa Claus, stays young and healthy because of the giving. Although, obviously, it's Mel Gibson, so he's not really giving that much. He's a bit dis you know, disenfranchised from it all. Um, but he is immortal, because Walton Goggins basically kills him. But he comes back to life. But he's only got one eye. He starts threatening people. I liked that. It was, it was just very funny. It just worked really, really well at the end when he approaches Billy. So basically, at the end of the movie, he approaches Billy. Threatens him. Like, <laughs> drinks the milk that Billy had prepared for his nan. And was like, mmm, fentanyl. That'll do it. Uh, and he's like, look, if you don't do this, I'm going to come back and I'm going to rip you from your bed. I'm going to, I'm going to like, serve justice on you. Moral moral jump, uh, justice and sort your compass out. Moral compass. Um, I like that. It's good. Because it, it is so in keeping with the character that they've established. You know, a grumpy, grizzly Chris Kringle that could flip at any moment. Um, but is seeing a bit of the light here and there. I like the fact that he stepped in to sort out a barmaid who was about to get laid from a guy who has a family and stuff like this. It's very, it was very good. Oh, God damn. It was a good movie. I enjoyed it. And, and as well, when Walter Goggins is storming uh, Chris Kringle's warehouses and stuff like that, the music that came on there was actually surprisingly well done. Uh, it is written and directed by Ishan and Ian Nelms. Um, they have done some things before, but nothing crazy, actually. Uh... So they've directed Small Town Crime, Waffle Street, Lost on Purpose, uh, Hard to Swallow, Heavy Petting. So like a whole bunch of normal, reasonable stuff. Uh, but they've written a lot of it as well. And they, they wrote this. And I think they did a standout job on this. It was it was really decent. These are the people that you need to... Yeah, these are the people that you need to keep an eye on. Because they're trailblazers. You know, they're going out there. They're getting very good stories and they're securing funding for it. There's no, there's no crap agendas. You're just watching a funny movie. And we need more of this. And I think this kind of stuff will be on the rise now. And I think this will do really well. I hope it does really well because it deserves it. 
So check it out if you haven't already. Definitely recommend. You'll have a good time with it. Again, be warned. Some of you may think it's a bit of a slow burn, but I had a great time. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below if you've watched it. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, give this video a like and a share. And please, if you are new here, do hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with more uh, in the world of pop culture, movie news, and movie reviews like this. Thanks so much. Take care.